economic importance of bacteria and fungi agricultural effects of bacteria 1 nature's scavenger soil bacteria act upon the dead bodies of plants and animals and reduce the complex organic compounds to simple forms such as nitrates sulfates and phosphates thus these important inorganic compounds which would have remained locked within the dead bodies are returned to the soil for reabsorption by new plants free nitrogen carbon dioxide and water vapor formed during this process of bacterial decay are released unused back into the atmosphere nitrogen fixation certain plants especially of the legume family have a special type of soil bacteria living in small rounded outgrowths on their roots called nodules now these bacteria are able to directly fix atmospheric nitrogen convert them into nitrites nitrates and make them available to the plant some free living bacteria live in the soil and possess the ability to fix free nitrogen of the air and convert them into ammonia amino acids and proteins for example azobacter that is aerobic bacteria Bacteria belonging to the genus Rhizobium infect root hairs and gain entry into the cortex. The cortical cells divide to form a nodule within which the bacteria grows. The plant provides the bacteria with shelter and carbon compounds, while the bacteria in return supplies the plant with nitrogenous compounds antibiotic use in antibiotics an antibiotic is a chemical substance produced by a living organism which can stop the growth of some disease producing bacteria and fungi today we know of dozens of antibiotics widely used in the treatment of numerous infections examples streptomycin chloromycetin tetracycline penicillin penicillin is the first produced antibiotic from a fungus and not bacterium how it was discovered is described here. In 1929, Alexander Fleming observed that some bacteria growing in a culture were destroyed by an accidental contamination of a mold, Penicillium notatum. He discovered that this mold produced a substance which suppressed the growth of many bacteria. And the substance was named penicillin, the first antibiotic for medical use. But remember, penicillin is the product of a mold that is fungus and not a bacteria. Next antibiotic streptomycin was discovered by Selman Wakesman in a similar way. Its source organism was the bacterium Streptomyces griseus. Some antibiotics with their sources. Some well-known antibiotics, their sources and the diseases treated are as follows.
The source of antibiotic penicillin is Penicillium crassogenum, a mold. The diseases treated are tetanus, diphtheria, pneumonia. The source of streptomycin is Streptomyces griseus and it's used to treat tuberculosis. The source of chlorotetracycline is Streptomyces oreofaciens. It is used to treat typhoid. Ethromycin, its source is Streptomyces erythereus. It is used to treat rickettsial fevers. The antibiotic ephedrin. Its source is yeast and it is used against asthma. The source of the antibiotic ergot is claviceps purpurea. It controls bleeding during childbirth. Criteria for good antibiotic. 1. It should be able to kill a variety of disease-producing microorganisms. That means it should be a broad-spectrum antibiotic. 2. It should not produce undesirable side effects. 3. It should not kill normal bacteria of the host. Other uses of antibiotics As food preservatives, especially for fresh meat and fish. For treating animal feed. For controlling plant pathogens.